Welcome to the Sci-Fi Office Project. But this building wouldn't exist without starting at the bottom first. I had to build these stairs, and I want to show you how I did it. Because this is a switchback staircase design, I need a platform about halfway up the stairs that it will connect to. I'm going to repurpose the I-beams that I cut out of the mezzanine floor. So this landing is going to be about 10 feet long and four and a half feet wide. Once these are welded together, I can move on to the support posts so we can get the platform in the air and install it. So one of my design criteria for this platform is to be able to have enough clearance to walk or put equipment underneath it. So I'm targeting a height of seven foot six. That's going to give me adequate clearance to do whatever I want and also not have any posts in the way. So one corner of the platform is going to get a hanging post. That way I don't have any tripping hazards on the floor. Three of the other posts are going to be buried inside walls. So those really don't matter too much. This platform is a key component to the installation of these stairs. I'm taking extra precaution to make sure it's at the correct height, it's level and true, because when I go to put the horses in, if anything's wrong with this platform, nothing else will line up. The next step is to install and manufacture this upper stair horse. It's gonna be by far the most challenging, not only in this fabrication and layout, but the installation also. For one, I'm by myself, so in order to accomplish this, I attach a choker to the midpoint of this beam. This is gonna allow me flexibility and control and be able to pivot the beam when I go to install it. And it also helps by getting it in between two pieces that could get wedged. So one of the cool design features that I liked about this switchback design is that when you get to the top of the stairs, that you're invited by seeing this big open space and being able to see all the tools and equipment and all the projects that are going down on the shop floor. Now these are gonna stack on top of each other and just really make some stairs rather quickly. And the way they get welded together is gonna to add to the overall strength. And this is kind of not a really typical style of stair, but I think this is gonna work well for my application. So with any break shape, they're never gonna be exactly perfect. And the method I'm using to attach this is that I'm tacking the first stair, placing the second one on top of it, and the stair underneath has a nice good supporting rib that it gets welded to. I find that you can push or pull the stair tread and manipulate your stair just a little bit by using a Bessie clamp to meet your marks. And then you give it a nice good weld and then you just repeat the process over and over and over again. I'm really happy the way these stairs are coming together, but as you can see, we need to put some platform material in here. So let's do that next. 